As someone who's had an online business for years and years now and works with people all around the world helping them build their own, I thought I'd make a video on the best tools that will allow you to thrive right now. Because here's the thing, everyone's speaking about Zoom, but there are other things that you can be using to save time, to minimize costs, and ultimately to get paid. So in this video here today, that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and all of these tools are really easy to use because I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a bit of a technophobe. The first and most underutilized tool is gonna be something that you may be like, whoa, Lauren, hold up here. I thought that was just for professionals who are looking to connect with other professionals or to find jobs and to have people spam me with their job opportunities. But no. It's the easiest and a free way to find your dream customers. You can literally type in a job title or type of person and they'll pop up. So just think, what does my dream customer do professionally? And then you can find them just through searching like this. Have conversations with decision makers. And three, get in front of people who have the income to pay you. Yup, over 45% of LinkedIn users make more than 75 grand per year. And you don't even need the paid version for any of that. LinkedIn right now, it's kind of the golden age, just like Facebook about 10 years ago. So you are able to grow real fast. So what should you post on there? Well, I think I'm gonna do an entire video on this. But for now, just make sure that you're on LinkedIn, make sure that you're posting at least every other day and that you're connecting with people and that your profile is optimized. And so use LinkedIn and realize that there's a lot of opportunities there. So yeah, I like LinkedIn for building relationships. At my company, we call it permission-based relationship marketing. But maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. So drop a comment if you want it. I'm at over 10,000 followers on there right now and we're getting a lot of our clients from LinkedIn now. In fact, half of our clients are now coming from LinkedIn. Whereas before it used to be like 1% and that was only a few months ago. So there are some certain tools that you can use in order to generate you leads using LinkedIn. And if you want to know what they are, just send me a direct message on LinkedIn saying LinkedIn leads. And then I'll make sure that I know what that means so I can tell you about it sneakily. But you can connect with absolutely anyone. And pro tip when you're connecting with people, make sure to add a no like I'm doing right here. And then you can have conversations with these people and offer your services to them in a really non-spammy way. My second necessary tool is Google Drive. You would be shocked about how many people don't know that this is a thing. You get to use Google Docs, which is literally just Microsoft Word, but it's so much better. Here, let me show you why. So when you create a new document, it will pretty much just open up and your entire team can be working on it all at once and it automatically updates so while you're typing something in someone else can be too so google docs is great but then there's also google sheets google slides and even more so we use google forms for our business so this is a way that you can collect data from clients all of these different things that i personally don't use but it just keeps everything organized and so simple so we make slideshows all the time for our clients and then with regards to our sheets we mainly just use this to keep on track of our clients and various different things that we're doing and if you look at this here, this may look really ugly, but these responses are from a Google form that we had and we set up an integration so that we don't even have to fill out this spreadsheet. It happens all automatically. And it's just such a nice way for our whole team just to have all of this information all in one. But even if you just wanna use it for personal, it's great because it means you don't need to download anything. It all happens and stays in the cloud, which means that it doesn't take up any space on your computer. And Google also has Google Calendar. Now I've taken these three off because there's a lot of personal stuff there, but these three calendars, my whole team shares them. So we all get to see when payments are due in on a calendar, and it means that we're organized and on top of things, which means that we're being productive and not having to go ahead and check everything, which allows you to maximize your effectiveness and your efficiency. So how do you know what you're doing each day? You can have your Google Calendar dictate it and you can set it up so that people can only book meetings with you for that specific thing on those specific days. 
Then for a more user-friendly project management tool, monday.com is absolutely awesome. It's super collaborative and everything inside just makes it really simple. So this is the inside of ours and how we use it. And so there's various different reportings that we do that we can keep track of in order to ensure that we're both on top of our business. And then we also have client trackers for our clients inside of our programs. So I definitely recommend this. I'll leave a link below, which gets you a free trial so you can give it a go and a taster because it's something that just allows virtual teams to stay on top of their tasks in a really effective way and the nice thing is you can set deadlines add tick boxes just so that everyone knows where everything is and you can even have conversations about different things which then people get notified about it's really really cool second tool that i like for that is acuity and i actually think i have a link that's supposed to be only for my clients to get a free month trial but i'll leave it down below so that you can get it as well and it's where people can actually book a time to speak to you and so if you're a coach or a consultant or a service provider and you're not taking sales calls well you definitely should be and people are going to be able to book a call with you using this you can also have questions on the call booking form which are essentially application questions so that when you get on the call with them they can have already partially convinced themselves that they already need your help so this is a whole nother different topic about human psychology and everything but basically use google calendar and allow people to book times with you using acuity scheduling i'll leave every single tool linked down below so by now you know an awesome platform which is totally free you know how to dictate your time and how to optimize for people booking calls with you and you know that you should be doing sales calls and so next up i want to talk about okay once you have leads once you have a way for these leads to book time on your calendar how do you actually get the money in your bank well a lot of people use paypal paypal's cool paypal's good but there's actually something called TransferWise, and I like this because the fees are really, really, really low. So again, I'll leave it down below, but it allows people from all around the world to pay you. And so you need to invoice them out, and so you can just use a website like Invoice Generator. Literally, you can go on Google and type in generate invoice online and you'll find invoice generator invoice home all of these things you can just use them for free that's what i do and that will allow you to actually take payment from people for businesses who are generating under 100k per month transfer wise is a really good option but if you're taking payment over the phone which i do recommend you are then use stripe if you're at under 100k per month if you're over that send me a dm and I'll tell you about another option that's maybe better for you at that stage. But under 100K per month, transfer wise, as well as Stripe are gonna be really good options for you to get the money in the bank. And so now if you have a team, there are a couple of other things that you should be using if you're not doing so already, or if you have clients, okay? So the first is Slack. Slack is awesome. It's kind of like WhatsApp for business. It's a virtual office. So you can have different team members come into your Slack. You can also have different clients come into your Slack and then you can have channels. And channels are essentially an office room where people can come in and they can go. But the cool thing is, as they come and go, they're able to see all the previous messages that happened before. And so you can send files in there, you can send messages in there. Oh my gosh, it's if you have a team and you're not using it, you are crazy. If you have lots of individual clients, and you're not communicating to them on there, then you're losing a lot of time because it's just such an effective way to communicate. And then secondly, another tool for teams that I really, really like is Loom. So I'll leave it again, all of these linked down below, loom.com. It's essentially a Chrome extension and you can record your screen, record the audio, show your face if you want to, and just do videos. And so it means that when you're communicating with clients, when you're communicating with your team, you don't have to type things out. You can just have absolutely everything in video format which makes it so much easier to explain i can't believe i wasn't using this up until about three months ago because i used to have to try and say to a client no this part of the sales call isn't very good here's what you need to improve and, da -da -da, and just explain and oh it was so confusing whereas now i can have them submit a loom to me they speak i pause what they're saying i speak with the feedback i play what they're saying and then i repeat and repeat and repeat or you can have a, a document and instead of having to go through the document highlight and then write your comment you can go through the document and just say 
Here's my feedback on this part da -da -da, and read through it. Just like you were standing there next to them. It is so good. It saves you so much time. It just allows you to communicate less and go back and forth less. And then the next thing, when it comes to actually training your team, you can record a bunch of looms, download them, and then upload them to a training hub and a training portal. So I like to think of it for that. Again, I think I have a free trial for that, so I'll leave that down below. This is the same platform that we use to deliver courses to our clients. And so it's really cost effective, really efficient, and will allow you to train your clients and train your team in the best way possible. So they're my favorite tools that I like to use for my business. There are other smaller things that I use, such as Voxer with some clients, which is like a WhatsApp type of thing. I'm not really too much of a fan of it. I prefer the things that I've listed out here, but as and when I find better ones, I will be sure to update you and let you know. But right now, they're my faves. They're synced up to it. And when it comes to documents and everything, I don't use Microsoft Word, everything, Google Drive. I love Google Drive. I literally pay like 10 bucks a month and get so much storage. I hope this has been useful. And uh, yeah, first place to start if I were you is just make sure your Google is all optimized and organized. Then after that, make sure that you are on LinkedIn, that you're posting content. From there, what I would ensure that you're doing it's just really making sure that when you're actually having people book calls with you, you're sending them your acuity link, and then you can keep growing and scaling and absolutely crush it. So I hope this has been helpful. Hit that subscribe, make sure that you turn on the notifications so that you don't miss future videos because I'm gonna definitely do one on LinkedIn and all the other stuff that I mentioned I do one on. And I'll see you in the next video.